Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Zara and I've had Tourette's for around three or four years now. I got diagnosed with Tourette's back in 2020, but I've had tics since I was seven years old. I have a lot of experience with them and I wanted to share something that I get asked all of the time. <laughs> so many people ask this question in my comments and I just find that a lot of people aren't educated on this topic. I wanna talk about why people with Tourette's swear. <laughs> Why are our tics swear words? Why do we say inappropriate things? Why are they never nice compliments? And honestly, I question this too. I'm like, why can't tics just be really nice words? Why can't I say, look how beautiful you are as a tic? Why does it have to be offensive? But there is like a legitimate brain reasoning for this and it's due to something called coprolalia. So coprolalia comes from the Greek word kopros, which if I remember correctly, literally means like dung or feces. Like it means basically negative things. And then the lalia bit also derives from a Greek word. I'll insert it here because I can't remember it. But the second half is to do with talking, to do with speech. And those two put together are coprolalia in the modern day version, which basically means unintentional or involuntary, obscene or socially inappropriate vocalizations. And that in simple form, because I know that's a lot of <laughs> information and big words, it means involuntary, very inappropriate words and phrases. So this can be swearing, insults, words that you're not allowed to say, you know, like socially inappropriate things, slurs, you get the idea. All of those, fuck, oh, wow, like that. That was a coprolalia tick. <laughs> that is one of my most common ticks is the F word and also things like the C word. You guys can guess. A lot of those are my tics because I have coprolalia and it means that I say a lot of crap that I don't want to say. Now, the really important thing to remember with people with coprolalia is number one, not everybody with Tourette's swears. So I'm someone with Tourette's who does have coprolalia. Now mine isn't as bad as it used to be. I don't swear as much or as severely as I did back when my Tourette's was at its worst. But right now my tics are just kind of middle level. They're not gone, like they're still very much here and I pretty much, <laughs> hey, I swear pretty much every single day because coprolalia is one of my common tics. But also my tics aren't horrendous, so I'm not swearing at every single person and insulting every single person I ever see. But even though Tourette's does cause coprolalia, it doesn't cause it in everybody. I think the statistics are between 10 and 15% of people with Tourette's have coprolalia. Now, this obviously might change. I think it has gone more up towards the 15% in the recent years because there have been a lot of increases in tics. There's been an increase in diagnosis of Tourette's which is a combination of tics becoming worse through the stress of lockdown, people discovering Tourette's through the internet, you know the whole TikTok thing that went on, TikTok's causing Tourette's which by the way is a load of bollocks. <laughs> Tourette's is a partly genetic condition and you cannot get it by watching a video on TikTok. But yeah, only around one in 10 people with Tourette's actually have swearing tics at all, which a lot of people might not believe because a lot of the people you see online do have coprolalia. But we have to remember that the people who dedicate all their time online, the people like me who become disability advocates and post so much about it, we do that because it affects our lives every single day to the point that we kind of have to do that in order to educate people and live our lives freely. If my tics were never severe and they always just stayed how they were between like the ages of seven and 13, if they stayed mild and I didn't really have swearing tics, I didn't really have words, I just had like sniffling vocal tics and coughing and grunting. If it had stayed like that, I probably wouldn't have really posted about it. And I might not have even ever got diagnosed because we wouldn't have known that it was there. A lot of people with Tourette's do go undiagnosed because it never gets to the severe point of having swearing tics, having coprolalia. But it's important to remember that even though coprolalia is one of the most kind of well-known parts of Tourette's, it does not define it and it is not a clinical diagnostic thing to have Tourette's. You do not have to have swearing tics. A lot of people never experience a swearing tic but they can still have severe Tourette's. It's a really big spectrum and it's not a sliding scale. It doesn't go from mild to severe on one line. It's very much more like a circle and you just kind of find yourself somewhere in the middle. So some people might have a lot more motor tics, they might have really violent motor tics or ones that stop them from walking. And those can be just as obvious and debilitating and disabling as things like coprolalia swearing tics, which 
are obviously very socially difficult and inappropriate. But yeah, not everybody swears with Tourette's, despite that being the main thing that people portray both online, I mean I guess it probably comes through my videos that Tourette's does involve swearing, but I also want to put it out there that this is not the case for everybody, even though it is a thing that happens in the brain. Okay, for those of you who like science and you like hearing about the bits of the brain, I'm gonna give you the knowledge that we do have about which part of the brain causes Tourette's and what could be the cause of coprolalia. Now, there is not enough research, so I can't say this for definite and I am not a neurologist. This is just what I have learned from one, doing a course on Tourette's. I have a qualification in Tourette's syndrome that I learned from doing an online course, so I do have a lot of information. Two, I've read so much research about Tourette's every time I can a new report comes out, I tend to go and read it and my mum does as well so we talk about it. And three, I've had Tourette's for a very long time and obviously I advocate for it so I've done a lot of research and answered a lot of questions and learnt a lot from online as well. So with that, Tourette's and coprolalia are thought to stem from somewhere in the brain called the basal ganglia. That is where they think the misfiring signals come from and what causes it. There is a theory that there's damage to that part of the brain. They think that coprolalia might be damaged to a part of the brain called the amygdala, which is involved in a lot of fight or flight responses, but it's also involved in anger and aggression and that sort of thing. So if there's some sort of wiring going wrong or maybe physical damage due to the disruption in that part of the brain, those inappropriate things, the aggression, those subconscious things that the brain is capable of, they come out as a misfired signal, which as we know from Tourette's is a tick. That is why people with Tourette's who have coprolalia have the aggression and the not very nice coprolalia swearing ticks. It is not something that we can control and it is definitely not something that we consciously think of. None of my coprolalia tics are what I'm thinking at the time. I do not constantly have swear words in my head. I don't think of the insults. I don't think of anything before I say it. It is completely unconscious. It's just a misfiring signal coming from that point in the brain, which happens to unfortunately be the aggression part of the brain. <laughs> but not all of my tics are like that and it's definitely not what I'm thinking. So when people have coprolalia tics and they have swearing tics or they're telling you to F off and things like that, please remember that it is not what they're thinking. We do not actually want to say that and it's not reflection of what is going on inside our heads. It's completely involuntary and it's completely subconscious. I hope that clears up a little bit about why people with Tourette's swear and the fact that not everybody does, despite that being what's portrayed in like movies and films and that's the same thing. <laughs> Tourette's is a very variable condition and it presents completely differently in everybody, despite some people having similar tics. We just need to learn more about it and be more understanding and be more open-minded because every single person does look different and they need different things, they need different aids. We all have different experiences and it's important to just talk to the people around you who do have Tourette's if you know anybody. And if you encounter someone in public with Tourette's, maybe they have coprolalia, just be open-minded, be nice, try and be understanding and see it from their perspective because it isn't fun going around and being judged for something that you completely can't control. But yeah, I hope you learned something. I hope that was interesting. I'm really trying to do a lot more Edutica videos like this because I've missed it. I love chatting about things and I have done three courses recently online so I have so much new information just bobbing around that I really wanna share and hopefully educate some people or make people feel seen. So let me know if you like like the quick short chatty videos because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these and comment topics down below if you have anything that you want me to talk about or you want to learn something comment all those things or questions that you want me to answer down below and I think it'll be easier to do some shorter videos just to like get little topics checked off and get a lot more awareness and advocacy out there. I hope you have a lovely lovely day thank you for watching if you did like the video I'm going to be doing so much more like this so don't forget to subscribe and turn post notifications on if you want to know when I upload but I will see you next Sunday 5pm for another video. Yeah, <laughs> have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.